Hello, my kindergarten through second grade friends. Welcome to Art Recycled with Mrs. Hallemeyer. Today, we are gonna make these beautiful desert landscapes. And landscapes, remember, means a picture of the land. Boys and girls, today we're gonna learn about silhouettes. Silhouettes are these black images that you see that are the cactuses that are in the desert. So a silhouette is made, boys and girls, when you have a sunset and the light is being blocked in front of those objects. All the light is behind them because the sun is dripping, or drooping, sorry, drooping down below um, the land here. And so boys and girls, we're gonna make our cactuses just black today and I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're gonna need a black crayon and then you're gonna need watercolors to do your sunset in the background, okay? So now here's the other thing we're gonna learn about. We're gonna learn about how our colors work. So technically, boys and girls, the sky here goes in a color wheel. So we're gonna learn how to blend our colors, blue into purple, purple into red, red into orange, and orange into yellow to make it look like a beautiful sunset. All right, boys and girls, now I bet most of you will have a black crayon. If you happen to have a big black permanent marker, um, and your parents are okay with you using that. I love the look of permanent marker on this project, but black crayon is okay too. Do not use a Crayola marker. Crayola marker with the watercolors will smear everywhere, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the line for my ground. And I wanna press kinda hard. I'm gonna go up, 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 up. I tend to not make my ground straight because in the desert it's rocky, so I'm gonna kinda make it bumpy. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color this all in black. And since it's a silhouette, we want it really black. So I'm trying to press as hard as I can. Boys and girls, if your hands get tired, you can just take a break, right? And I want you to notice that I'm not just using my fingers to color. Sometimes you guys color like this and you're only twisting by your wrist. Notice that when Mrs. Hallemeyer colors, my whole arm moves, okay? That makes it a little bit easier to color some big areas sometimes. Now, after this bottom area is colored in, I'm gonna draw my cactuses. And the cactuses that we're gonna draw today are really easy. They're just made up of circles and ovals and that's it. So I want you to draw me a big circle like this and then I want you to color it in black. And I tend to color it in by just Again, moving my arm in a circle and filling it in. If you're only moving your fingers, that's kind of hard like this. You don't want to do that. Notice Mrs. Hallemeyer is moving her whole arm. All right, so now I'm going to stack another circle on top of that one. Or oval. Color it in. And now as I start going up, boys and girls, my circles are going to get smaller bit smaller. Color it in. A little bit smaller. Color it in. And now I can even add some arms on my cactus by up here. Maybe I'll add another little circle. Color it in. And another little circle. Color it in. Boys and girls, if you fall behind, just pause the video, okay? If I'm going too fast, which I probably am, just pause the video and catch up. I'll draw another circle over here. There we go. And now, of course, boys and girls, all cactuses have those little thorns. That's why we don't touch them. So we wanna make them short and you wanna draw them all around your cactus. All right, what I'm also gonna put in my silhouette, boys and girls, is a big rock, kind of like a boulder. The, the desert can be not just sandy, it can also be rocky. So I'm just gonna draw kind of a blob coming out of the ground like that. You can draw it however you want. And then I'm gonna fill in my boulder. And then I'm gonna draw one more cactus, boys and girls. This one's gonna be made with long ovals. So a circle is kind of perfectly round on all sides. An oval is long. So I'm gonna make an oval coming out of the ground and then color this in. And then I'll make just a few more kind of stacked, kind of like this one, make another long oval. So we're learning about our different types of round shapes. 
then out of this one, I'll make a smaller oval, but it's still an oval. And then maybe I'll make one more here. And then I'll add spikes to this cactus. All right, boys and girls, there I have my silhouette, my objects that are in front of my sunset. So now I'm gonna learn how to use my watercolors to make my beautiful sunset come alive. You wanna get your water and your brush and you wanna take water and put it into yellow, put it into orange, put it into red, blue, and purple. Notice the one color we're not gonna use is green, boys and girls. So now to do this sunset, the sun is dipping below the land, right? So the sun is technically somewhere in here. So we wanna start with our yellow and we're gonna start at the bottom. And you can paint, boys and girls, right over that black crayon. It, it will not matter. Paint right over it. The next color I'm gonna to switch to, can you guess? Oh, orange. So we're going in rainbow order, boys and girls. The next color I'm gonna to switch to, can you guess what it is? Red. And again, boys and girls, if I'm going too fast, you just pause the video. The next color, oh, you got it. After red comes purple. Oh, that's a dark purple. Boys and girls, purple is the darkest color you'll use. I'm gonna show you, share with you a hint. If your purple goes on too dark, you know what you do? You just add more water and it becomes a lighter purple. And our last color, we only have one left that we put water in. You got it, it is blue. There we go, boys and girls. I have my beautiful desert sunset. I hope you had fun learning about silhouettes, ovals and circles, and how to make your rainbow color sunset. All right, I'll see you next time on Art Recycled. Bye.